What's going on guys? Big Ben here and today I've got a little bit of the multiplayer mode from the game The Last of Us for you. This is going to be kind of my review of the game I guess you could say, the multiplayer mode. The single player mode is absolutely amazing. Probably going to be my number one game of all time. I have to be honest, Naughty Dog really went over the top with this game and it is absolutely beautiful. The storyline is great and it's a, a ton of fun. Now the multiplayer mode is pretty damn good as well. I have to say I really enjoy it. It took me a little while to get used to the third person view. I have to admit, uh, I haven't played a third person game in quite a while. It's been a really, really long time actually since I played any of a third person game. So like I said, it took me a little while to get used to it. I ended up using the sniper rifle, which actually helped me out a lot because once you zoom in or scope in I guess you could say it gives you more of a first person view I guess and I think that really helped me out a lot so let's get more into what this game here this game mode here is about this is supply raid on the map high school and what you're doing here is you're gonna run around and you're gonna pick up parts and you're gonna craft bombs improve your weapons and it's an absolute lot of fun guys there's a lot of detail in this game and you know there's so much you can do now I'm actually thinking about bringing out a little tips and tricks video for you guys on some of the bomb placements I've really found some really good bomb placements on a lot of maps I've been getting a lot of bomb takedowns a lot of bomb knockdowns and it's a lot of fun now some of the places I put these bombs really probably piss some people off I have to admit some of the guys probably really get extremely pissed when they die uh, because I put them in some really sneaky places. The Jiggly Juggler was actually laughing at me today at some of the places I put the bombs. And I mean, honestly, I'd probably be pissed off if I died from the way that I kill some of these guys because it's, it's pretty mischievous, I guess you could say. Uh, well, a little bit more about this. This is a 4v4. Uh, the first one, the first team to 20 kills wins. It's not that long of a game. You're not going to get shit tons of kills. And most of you are probably used to playing Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3. And this is a completely different game than that, I promise you. You're a lot more stealthy here. You can't really tell it in this game, but I promise you now, we play a lot different now. A lot more sneaking around. A lot more using the hearing ability, the uh, listening the ability that you have in this game and trying to sneak up on players. Now you did see me drop a bomb there beside the door. That's not one of the places I'm talking about. That does That is a decent place to put a bomb, yes, if somebody walks by that door. But where I'm putting them now, guaranteed to get kills with them unless somebody actually spots them, which don't usually happen. So I did just get something there. I don't know, that might have been the bomb kill. I don't know. But like I was saying, uh, first team to 20 kills wins and it's very stealthy it's not like all the other shooters you play uh, which is one of the problems I was having when I first started playing as well running around trying to get tons of kills and the game just don't work that way as you can see here I've got a Molotov here in my hand or as I like to call it a mojito and I'm sure probably a lot of you are like what the hell are you talking about well that's a little inside joke that me and the jiggly juggler and a couple other subscribers have as you see, I get a kill there, burn that some bitch, all the shit. He is done. Have a good night, and yeah. So there we go. Uh, the the mojito though, it's called a Molotov cocktail, as you know, and I just figured uh, mojito sounds better. I don't know, it sounds funnier, I guess. The first time I said it, they thought I was crazy, thought it was a little funny, and then they all started using it as well. They kind of stole my shit, but no big deal. It's all right. It's all right, guys. <laughs> it is pretty funny though when uh you first, well I guess when we first hit it. As you see, somebody just threw a nail bomb right there and busted my ass. Now, I don't throw bombs anymore. When I first started the game, I threw a bombs around a lot. I don't do it anymore. I um, uh, strategically place them now, I guess you could say. Now, to get a little bit more in-depth into this game, you also have what you call a clan. Now, each game is a day. You have oh, so many weeks. You have little side missions you have to do within the game. You have a clan. You have survivors. And as long as if you see the little blue number there in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, 
you have to get so many parts the number on the right is the parts you need to get the number on the left is the parts you have and you have to get so many parts each day to keep your uh, clan I guess healthy um, if you don't you know some of them get sick if you don't get a side mission some of them get sick and if you get kicked out of a game they get sick and, and hungry as well now this is an execution guys I love the executions I don't like being executed but I love executing people it's a lot of fun I hate watching my face getting pounded in as you're fixing to see right here the guy's gonna beat me down and pound me in and execute me actually he just hit me with a board no big deal there but the executions guys can get pretty brutal sometimes especially if you have the little shorty shotgun uh, yeah you can actually blow their entire freaking head off it's pretty funny something else I like about the game you can get these the armor you can do that while you're waiting to spawn out or you can get it while you're if you're hitting good you can just hit select go to it purchase ammo purchase uh, armor whatever you need to do right there in the game even you don't even have to wait until you die you can do it while you're in the game which I think is really cool you know because a lot of games to change loadouts I mean to change the loadout obviously you have to wait until you die but you can get extra ammo by buying it with the parts that you have the green number there is the parts that you have you can get ammo with that and uh, here's here's me healing a guy you can heal a guy that's down once he's executed you can't pick him back up but while he's down you can and this guy I don't know what he was thinking don't run up on Big Ben like that man oh my lord but this game is an absolute ton of fun guys I can't wait till the live stream we're gonna be having very soon I hope we're at 950 subscribers right now and like I said once we hit that 1000 number we're gonna have a live stream with all subscribers and this will be one of the games hopefully we get to play uh, it is only an 8v8 I understand that but uh, you know hopefully we'll be able to fill it up at least with eight of you guys will be switching games as well so uh, you'll see me here I try to put this bomb here at the top of the steps I didn't quite make it up and the thing ends up rolling back down I was hoping that these guys there's three of them up there we end up having a gunfight with these guys our team against their team and we end up winning of course but I was hoping those guys would come running up them stairs or down them stairs and my bomb would get a couple of kills or whatever but that wasn't the case as you see we ended up killing them at the top of the steps now as I was saying the side missions in this game sometimes uh, like the last one I had the last side mission I had as I told you there's weeks and days and stuff like that I had to have 25 kills or 25 knockdowns actually um, in three days which you know only adds up to what 25 divided into three uh, whatever that number is you can see there my bomb did actually get a kill I forgot about that that guy did come running around the corner but uh, uh the side missions you know like I said you have all these little side missions there's a lot of stuff to do in this game there's a lot of detail in it and side missions and all that stuff but that's a lot in depth guys and we just don't really have the time for it because this game is pretty much over as you see there's another fail on my part I forgot to reload my damn gun but I think the Jiggly Juggler took care of him right there, yeah. Uh, and he's the last one standing. Yeah, so it's 1v1 now. Last guy standing. Whoever kills who wins this game. And the Jiggly Juggler is going to pull it out for the win. There we go. But as you can see, Big Ben is at the top of the leaderboard. All right, guys. I'm getting out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be back for more. And I'm going.